if teachers have a particular area of emphasis that they want to improve on so they're more effective in the classroom, whether it's different type of assessments or different type of instructional modalities or different ways of getting the material across to the student, um, Worcester Academy supports those teachers attending seminars and conferences to improve those skills to increase their effectiveness in the classroom. For example, this summer I attended a professional development opportunity at Cornell University. A program was put on where biology teachers across the nation got an opportunity to learn how to use tetrahymena, which is a single-celled organism, and you could use this organism to teach fundamental biological principles to students. Some biological concepts are abstract and hard to understand if there's not a hands-on opportunity. So the tetrahymena program allowed biology teachers to use this organism to teach principles of endocytosis, osmosis diffusion, mating, and a host of other biological topics where students will be able to see these processes and manipulate these processes using this organism. The students get very excited about seeing the living organism, it's swimming around and it's moving, and they feel more excited about the opportunity to study these processes. And a lot of times, the name of what they're studying, osmosis diffusion, becomes secondary to what they're observing. If it's possible, try to estimate how many colonies you have. It seems rare that you get to go work at a beautiful building, Kingsley, top of the line scientific lab. You get to work with kids who want to learn, with no discipline problems. The school wants you to be the best teacher you can be and they're going to support you. Any equipment you need, they're going to buy. It doesn't get much better than that. So the presence of arabinose turns on the genes. 